hey guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new here welcome it's me again always the more and i'm back with another video so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys my perfume collection oh my god i so love these videos because there are so many fragrances out there some of which i've never even heard of and there's are some that's in my collection that I actually found out about from watching a perfume collection video. So I'll let you know when we get to it. So I'm gonna be honest, my perfume collection is extremely small, but I think it packs a punch. Like I got some good stuff in my collection and really it's minimalistic, but the fragrances that I have, they, I love them. They make me feel fresh, expensive, sexy, feminine, all of that and as long as your perfume is making you feel like that you're doing pretty good okay if you want to see what i have in my collection stay tuned keep watching first fragrance i'm going to share with you guys is my number one favorite right now okay it is the valentino voice viva arde perfume hopefully i did not slay that hopefully i did not butcher the name of this perfume because i absolutely love it I got this perfume in a sample size and fell in love with it. And I just told myself, as soon as I run out of this sample size, I'm gonna go out and purchase it. And that's exactly what I did, fresh new bottle. Just being honest, I wear this fragrance like every single day. I absolutely love it. It's like $150. Um, I picked mine up from Macy's. I get the most compliments out of my entire collection okay that's why this fragrance is number one on the list okay out of my entire collection i get the most compliments when i wear this everybody stop me and be like you know what are you wearing valentino i know i smell good i wear it for daytime and nighttime it makes me feel just so it's oh god y'all i wish y'all could smell it so i jotted down some of the notes because i'm not skilled in that area hopefully one day i'll be able to smell perfume like okay i know it has this note it has that note but for now no i had to like jot them down i have the notes written down for each perfume just for educational purposes so this has mandarin orange bergamot ginger vanilla musk oak moss just to name a few what jumps out at me is definitely the ginger, the bergamot, and the mandarin orange, especially the mandarin orange. Guys, this baby here, this is my number one, okay? So we're gonna move on to my baby. Now this is my baby because it's the first luxury scent that I ever purchased, and it is the Chanel number no. five absolutely love these. this scent is for the mature woman honey the woman of elegance a woman who knows what she wants and knows she wants to smell good she wants to smell like money and she wants to smell like i have arrived yes you will find that in this fragrance the thing about this fragrance is sometimes i can't smell it but people can smell it on me. One time I gave my sister a hug and I was wearing these and she was like, oh my God, you smell so good. What are you wearing? I was like, Chanel number no. five. And she was like, wow, you know, I don't really like the scent. And I'm like, really? Oh my God, who doesn't like Chanel number no. five? But then she said that she heard that this scent smells different on every woman. I guess when it gets in your body chemistry or whatever, it doesn't smell the same on anybody. I don't know if that's true or I don't know if that's how all scents are anyway once they get, you know, working with your hormones, pheromones, all of that, whatever. I don't know. When she said that, I'm like, because like I said, I can't even smell this sometimes, but people can smell it on me. It's just my baby. It's near and dear to my heart. And this is probably like my fourth bottle of chanel number no. five i think that i will always keep some in my collection no matter what because it just represents a woman of elegance like you have to have this in your collection like why not why <laughs> this fragrance i wear it to sleep that is a fun fact <laughs> i wear this to sleep 
I spray it behind my knees just so it's not dead in my face. But yes, after I get out the shower, I think Marilyn Monroe gave that tip that every woman should be wearing Chanel number no. five to bed. Some of the top notes I'm gonna be reading is Lang Lang. Is that how you say it? Lang Lang. <laughs> Neroli, bergamot, vanilla, lemon, and sandalwood. What I really, what jumps out of, at me is the lemon and the vanilla. Not really sure what the sandalwood smells like, but I definitely can smell the lemon in this. I love this fragrance. Next is Tiffany's. I am almost out of this, guys. There is literally like one pump left. But I said, as long as that one pump is left, it is still considered a part of my collection. And I plan on repurchasing it anyway. So yes, this Tiffany scent is very soft, feminine, flirty, floral. It's floral, floral, floral. It is... It smells like springtime and summertime. I definitely think it's a daytime scent. Like I would wear it to like a Sunday brunch. I would wear it if I was going out on a picnic. I would wear it to breakfast. I would wear it any daytime event. The fragrance is extremely light. It's a fun scent. It's a, ooh, she smells so good type scent. I think you can wear it every single day. I think you will not get tired of it. I know I don't get tired of this scent. I would definitely recommend Tiffany's as well. It's just like Chanel. It's like some, some fragrances I just feel like every woman should have. Like, and Tiffany's is one of them. Some of the top notes are mandarin orange, bergamot, lemon, rose, peach musk, so the next scent is Turquatic. Turquatic is from MAC. And it's definitely a unisex scent. It does smell like perfume and it smells like cologne as well, which is nothing wrong with that. It's very citrusy and it you can smell the musk notes in there. And it's a very light scent as well. Even though it, it punches, cause it can go for a cologne, it's still light. It smells super good. I would say that if you were transitioning from wearing like body spray, Turquatic would be a good fragrance to start with because it has that same similar, you know how body sprays can be kind of fruity, citrusy, but it's still a perfume. So I don't wanna put it with a body spray, so don't get me wrong. But I'm just saying, like, if you're someone who primarily wears like body sprays and lotions, I think if you were to start wearing Turquatic, it would be a great transition into wearing like perfumes. So last year I was watching uh, YouTube perfume collection videos and the girl had this in her video. And I went out and bought it. I think it's like 60 bucks, not too expensive at all. And I fell in love with it. Now, where do I wear this to? I wear this as an everyday scent. Just if I'm, I wear this to work, I wear this to the gym. I wear this to run errands, um, not to downplay the scent at all, but I do wear this to places that I just wanna smell good. I'm not trying to impress too much. I just, I wear perfume every everywhere. So I'm not trying to impress too much. I wanna smell good. I don't wanna use my more expensive fragrances. So I pop out Turquatic and I get compliments on this too. It's just, it's one of those, you just smell good. What are you wearing? Turquoise from Mac. <laughs> so some of the notes are Lotus, Oris, Corsican, Blue Cedar. Hope I didn't butcher that. But yeah, I would definitely say it's a, it's a musky, you don't need much. Very citrusy and you good type scent. And last but definitely, Definitely not least, it is the time for Bitter Peach. Now, if you wanna smell like money, shmoney, okay? Time for Bitter Peach is the way to go. It's expensive, it's over $300, okay? It's expensive. This is a, this is a luxury buy, period perfume or not okay you you're gonna spend some money trying to smell like this but you're gonna smell like money so hey it's it's worth it 
is a unisex scent, but I do think it leans more towards the perfume side, but you're gonna smell a little fruity if you're a man, but in a good way. It's not, it's unisex. It's definitely unisex. A little bit goes a long way with this. Let me tell you, when I'm wearing this, I don't have on anything right now, so I'm gonna spray a little here. I literally go like this. One pump, and I just rub it wherever else I want it. Sometimes I will put it behind my knee as well. Behind my knee is my little pulse point that I like to <laughs> use. I wouldn't dare be like, shh, 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 shh. no. No, 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 no. Don't do that. First of all, you don't wanna waste it. You need to have this all year long, okay? You need to have this for a while. <laughs> so, shh, shh, rubbing all over you. Oh my God. It smells so good. I wear this if I'm going out for the night. If I'm going on a date or a night out or an evening event, I will definitely wear, this is my choice out of everything. See, if I want to smell really, 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 really good, I wear the Tom Ford Peach. Just being honest, it depends on where I'm going. If, I, if I'm in that mood that I want to smell good tonight, this is what I'm wearing, okay? This scent is great for spring and summer. I don't really know how it will do in the fall. It's that blood orange is so spring-like. It's the most powerful note, if you ask me. So I don't know how it will do. Probably definitely not wear it in the wintertime. It's a spring and summer type of fragrance. So some of the top notes are peach, blood orange, rum, cognac, jasmine, vanilla. I, and the crazy thing is I can smell all of that in this. I guess that's what makes it that unisex scent because it got rum and cognac and it got some strong notes in there. Then you got those blood orange and those fruity notes. So together, ooh, time for bitter peach. Y'all do you this, okay? This scent jumps right out at you. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Here's my little collection, which I love. I will repurchase everything on this tray because I absolutely, honestly love it. It's it's how I'm moving out here nowadays. <laughs> Takeaways from here is, get you that Valentino. Reason why I say get the Valentino because it's not as expensive as the Bitter Peach, but it smells just as good. It's like half the price and it, it smells just as good, it really does. But I absolutely, each one of these fragrances, I love to death. It's like I equally love them, honestly. They, they're my go-tos. So anyway, drop a comment and let me know what are your go-to scents, your fragrances that you're loving these days, whether it's designer or not. It doesn't have to be a designer fragrance for it to make a statement, just like they're turquoisic, so. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please like this video, comment down below, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.